Hi guys and welcome to our first video and in this video we gonna be unbox our Arduino Mega so let's get started so here we have our Arduino so let's talk about packaging so here we got the uh, vector art of Arduino Mega 2560 here we have the badging Arduino Mega 2560 back same thing is written but they have also written Rev, uh, Rev 3 a4 uh, zeros and 67 maybe they are uh, they have their serial numbers or like that uh, here it is written made in Italy uh, Arduino CC badging and same thing is written A4067 open source <coughs> electronics platform here we got the seal and an, uh, and some vector art related to the some components that uh, these are the I think these are ICs then voltage regulators RX pin so let's unbox so this is this are board so first of all check what we get in uh, another things that first of all we got uh, this is the supporting one uh, thank you for supporting Arduino it's just a manual or you can say the warranty card so later on we will say uh, i think another card is there yeah they have their another things like what this it's uh, or do you know mkr family i think mkr means maker family do more with less discover do more with less discover the potential or you know logo and i think they have certified wide range maybe they have their new boards mkr 2590 mkr y510 and i maybe they are have their some uh, new boards so let's talk about arduino so here we have our arduino this is the power port this is the data port then we got the uh, digital pins over here these are also digital pins these are pwm pins uh, up to 14 uh, uh, including 0 uh, and without uh, including 0 uh, it's 13 here we have analog pins so let's talk about some uh, and these are the casing of the arduino uh, you can remove it if you want uh, but i never remove it as it get uh, du uh, dusty so that is why i hate that <coughs> here uh, you can see that uh, uh, here also written about the pins like uh, they have also written that uh, it's uh, digital 31 here also they have written yep 31 like this so let's talk about <coughs> arduino also so basically an arduino is a microcontroller uh, uh, Arduino is made up of lots of stuff so you can see that this is the uh, IC uh, pins I have uh, told you right now <coughs> this is the ports uh, this is the voltage regulators RXTX pins crystal processing so let's talk about the digital pins so in addition to the uh, specify these functions uh, I will make a video on that that uh, how you can <coughs> define a digital pin in arduino id uh, later on so for, uh, so let's talk briefly about arduino uh, arduino's digital pin so the digital pins on an arduino board can be used for general general purposes like uh, uh, input or output uh, via <coughs> pin mode uh, digital write digital read these are some commands of the Arduino ID. Uh, each pin has eternal pull up register which can be turned on and off using digital write value high or low. High means uh, 1 and low means 0. Uh, when the pin is configured uh, as an input, the maximum current uh, per pin is 40 milliampere so now let's talk about the zero and one pin where is that yep you you can see that here it is it is written rx and tx so the serial zero rx and serial tx one 
means uh, rx uh, stand for uh, it is used for receiving the data and uh, uh, tx is used for transmitting the data uh, ttl serial data as they are uh, on the arduino decimal it is also a board uh, these pins are connected to the corresponding pins of ftd uh, ftdi usb to ttl serial chips on the arduino uh, bt which is bluetooth uh, they are connected to the corresponding pins of WT11 uh, Bluetooth module on the Arduino Mini and Lilypad uh, Arduinos. They are also the Arduino boards. Uh, here you can see a picture of uh, Arduino Lilypad and this is Arduino Mini. And uh, they are intended for uh, use with the external TTL serial chips, example mini USB adapters. Then we have in, uh, uh, in external interrupts 2 and 3 pin. Uh, these are the 2 and 3 pin you can see 2 and 3. So uh, these pins can be configured to trigger an interrupt on a low value, a rising or falling edge or change in value. See, uh, then we have the PWM pins over here. So basically uh, it's an <clears throat> Arduino Mega, so it consists lots of pins, but to clearly know which pins are uh, PWM, uh, wait a second, I will, I, I am going and just bought my Arduino Uno. So basically this is an Arduino you know it's a Chinese board <laughs> okay so uh, where you uh, so here you can uh, see some wave like uh, structures these are the PM uh, PWM pins they are these are 3 5 6 9 and 10 and 11 respectively uh, they provide 8 bit PWM output with analog write function on board with and add mega 8 pwm output is available only in pin 9 10 and 11 then we have uh, bd resets also uh, and the bd resets uh, connected to the reset line of the bluetooth module then we have icsp pins uh, here you can see this is also an icsp pins and these are also the icsp pins so we have that 10 pin is as mozi 11th as uh, sorry uh, i have spelled wrong uh, 10 as uh, ss 11 as mozi uh, 12th as miso and 13 as sck uh, these pins support spi communication with all thought provided by underlying hardware uh, it, it is not uh, currently included in arduino language uh, then we have the led 13 uh, here you can see the digital pin LED 13. So basically, uh, on the decimal and lily pad, uh, we have built in LED on the digital pin 13. When the uh, pin is at the value uh, of the uh, value is also when the sorry when the uh, value is high, then the LED get turned off, and the when the value is uh, low, then the uh, LED get turned off so let's talk about this uh, another pins which is analog pins uh, so and uh, the analog input pins supports 10 bit uh, analog to digital convert uh, convergence which is uh, which we call uh, which we can simply say as ADC uh, using analog read function almost of the uh, almost most of the uh, analog inputs can be used as digital pins analog input 0 as pin as digital pin 14 through analog pin 5 as digital pin 19 analog input 6 and 7 uh, which is uh, present on mini and bt cannot be used as uh, digital pins then we uh, uh, have the ic4 uh, sda and uh, ic5 SCL supports IC TWI uh, communication using the wire library 
uh, let's talk about the power pin right now so here you can see these are the power pins VIN GNDs 3.3 volt and 5 volt also so basically uh, win sometimes labeled as 9 volt uh, the input voltage to the Arduino board when it's uh, using an external power uh, source as opposed to 5 volt from the USB connection or other regulated power source you can supply the voltage through this pin or if supplying voltage via the power jack access it through this pin note that different boards accept different input voltage ranges please see the documentation of your board uh, whether it is uh, if you have the arduino mega then check the documentation uh, of arduino mega if you have arduino uno then check the documentation of arduino you know you can get the uh, information on the tool option in arduino ide uh, so let's talk about 5 volt pin uh, the regulated power supply used to power the uh, microcontroller and other components on the board this can come either from uh, win via on board regulator or be supplied by usb or another regulated 5 volt supply then we have 3.3 volts 3.3 uh, volts uh, all provide 3.3 volts like 5 volt and gnd is used to ground which is negative then we have some more that this is a reset button uh, uh, basically do not uh, uh, reset the program it just restart the program okay when we add something so if you love this video please subscribe to our channel and like this video share this video and comment if i have made any mistakes and also uh, i hope you love the